Hi there, welcome to Pink Piggy. Um, just like to let you know one thing first of all is our website's now up and running, so that's a good thing. And finally, the second thing is uh, this is a new video, this is going to be on how to resize a dot GIF. So, in the previous video, I showed you how to make a GIF using Image Studio in Adobe. So, what we're going to do is first of all, we're going to use Photoshop because that's the easiest thing I can think of actually for doing this. So, as you can see, I've just opened Photoshop and here we've got Pink Piggy uh, this is the logo that's on our uh, website and basically this is probably should be quite simple so you've got it open now you're gonna go up to the top here and you're gonna see there's a little tab up here called image uh, you're gonna click on it then you're just gonna move your mouse down and go to image size now of course there's a shortcut key which is control alt I so click on image size and it brings up this little box over here. Now there's a few things to look at on this box. First of all, at the top you've got the word pixel dimensions. That's basically what the size of the file is going to be once you press save. So by changing all these variables it will tell you what the size will be. So here we have the different uh, measurements. So if you're using percentage or pixels. So we're going to use pixels because that's what I've been asked to do. So what we're going to do is we can take this, at the moment it's 773 ki uh, ki uh, kilobyte. So what we're going to do is we're going to move that down and I'd like to make it around about, let's say 70. Okay, so we're taking it down by quite a way. Now, all these different boxes, these are the first two. Now the next two are the document size, so that gives you centimeters. And then finally is the resolution. So even if you make the small, the width of the pixel, or whips of the document really really small you can still have a high resolution so that means it's cramming loads of pixels in so you do not lose your dis uh, lose the resolution so let's change it now so we'll see what we can do I want the width probably to be around about let's try 100 54 so that's put it down to 15.9 it's a lo little bit too small so I'll make it a bit higher that's better 200 by 100 as you can see it keeps it locked in place you can unlock it by changing it in different ways but the, the with a gif you want it all to stay really laid out properly because of the fact that it's moving so 200 by 109 now the resolution is still the same it's still a 72 pixels per square inch okay so it's not gonna impede the uh, how clear it is to your viewer so that should be good now to change it individually the quickest way to do it would be to change it so it's not scaled so that you can change them individually okay so we're going to leave it like that now what we're going to do is we're going to click OK and it should suddenly zoom out a little bit because it's got a lot smaller uh, you've got the progress bar which comes up and tells you what it's doing and then we're just going to wait a couple more seconds and now it's got a lot smaller so there's no over there now if I go to file up the top left and I click on save as now I've already got open the where I want to go to now you have to go down to the format now it is the fourth one down or third one, one, two, three, it's the fourth one down the gif so click on gif now I'm going to change the name so this is trial Okay, and then click save and it comes up and tells you what palette to use so it depends what you're using if you're using the internet if you're planning it being used on uh, the Apple computers so the Mac systems or Windows which is what I'm using and then you've got several different other ones Te personally I just usually like to leave it how it is unless I'm using it for specific um, specific reasonings okay uh, leaving all those details the same I want a preview to come up so I'm gonna click OK and now you've got two different options. I always leave it as normal. And there you go, it has saved. So we'll just come out of this. Now we've got a file. And there you've got the Pink Piggy trial here. Now to open that so it moves, you're just going to open it in a browser. So we've got open with. Um, and we can just about look up in the top left, and it will start moving in a second. As ever, thank you for listening to us and hope to see you again. Any questions, queries, 
please don't hesitate to just give us an email or contact us as I said before this recording was done at request so hope you guys enjoy and hope it's educational for you bye bye